the genius politicians, those wokey loonies in New York, running New York housing law, are at it again, folks. These guys, somebody needs to tell the left that every law they pass has an adverse effect on the people they're trying to help, right? I just found out about this latest law, the New York roommate law, which is just going to wreak havoc and cause problems in an increased discrimination against single mothers. Like, single mothers, this law is a complete nightmare for you because when old little Billy Suboxone moves into your house, unannounced, unauthorized, the landlord can't do anything about it. So what's happening is we're having landlords who are just denying single mothers right off the bat. Let's talk about it. Welcome to the show, y'all. My name is James, and I am here to talk to you guys about all things real estate, answer your real estate questions, go over the good, the bad, the ugly when it comes to investing in real estate. Myself, a little bit about me. If you're new to the show, I run a $75 million investment property portfolio. We help investors from all over the world uh, invest in cash flow, affordable, Section 8 real estate, things of that nature. If you're interested, you can check the notes below, book a call at my team. But as for today's show, folks, we are going to be talking about the madness, the madness that is another woke housing law in New York, right? We get actually get a lot of clients at my company from New York. A lot of investors want to invest in real estate outside of New York because New York housing laws are insane. And I found out about a new woke law that I've never even heard of until today, right? See, earlier today, I posted this meme. This is a dank meme. I'm all about posting dank memes, yo. Follow me on Facebook for some dank memes. My memes, 90% stolen, 10% original. Take that to the bank, right? So I post this dank meme right here, right? Nobody falls in love faster than a dude who needs a place to stay, right? And I've seen this guy, I've seen this couple many, many times in my investment career, as have you. I almost guarantee the seasoned landlords that are watching my show, you know exactly how this is going to go. And that's what I said, right? I said, landlords, do you know how this one goes? Little Billy Suboxone makes an unauthorized move into your duplex three weeks after you place your tenant, right? The single girl. Three months later, you're patching up holes post-eviction. Am I right? When you move in this girl, you do uh, your tenant screening, your background check. Everything comes back clear. No felonies, no this or that. And friggin' three weeks later... This dude, fresh out of rehab, Suboxone, popping those sons of bitches like they're Pez. He moves in. The whole thing goes to shit. You got to evict everybody, right? You all know about it, right? You all know about it, okay? Now, landlords, uh, you know, they're commenting on this meme, and, you know, we're all making the normal jokes. Oh, yeah, this happened. People are sharing their horror stories. Everything's going interesting. We had one weird comment, this guy, uh, Kevin Jefferson Paula. Then, T-H-E-N, pertains to time. Then, T-H-A-N, makes a comparison. Therefore, the word to be used here would be than, T-H-A-N. I just despise grammar mistakes. I know it's not your fault, but if it's not written correlation like my contracts, I'm not taking the time to post slash share it. So, everybody else, you know, we're just talking making jokes, talking about things. But, you know, Kevin, my guy Kevin, I had to had to get this out there for everybody else out there that's like, whoa, dude, was that a then instead of a than? Kevin's upset, y'all. Kevin is upset, right? So my apologies to the grammar Nazis out there like Kevin. But outside of Kevin, we're all just talking, sharing horror stories. And then something that was shocking to me, shocking to me, I got like three landlords from New York who started telling me how 
There's nothing you can do when Billy Suboxo moves into your unit. I'm like, what do you mean there's nothing you can do when some random jackass gets out of rehab and moves into your unit? You can't evict Billy Suboxone? Billy Suboxone's allowed to come there and just punch holes into your walls? Essentially, yes, that is what the Wokies out there in New York are doing. This is a real law. It's called the New York Roommate Law, okay? Actual law, right? New York Law, RPL. I don't even know what that stands for. 235 slash F. I'm from Ohio, so we have like the Ohio revised code. So I'm assuming that's similar to that. Allows a tenant of any private residential apartment to share their apartment with their immediate family members, one additional occupant, and any dependent children of that occupant so long as the apartment is the tenant's primary residence, so long as there are only one tenant on the lease, right? This is a real law. It's on the books. Now, obviously... We have fair housing, so you can't discriminate against people with children, right? That makes sense, okay? But the thing in here, one additional occupant. This is what is so insane about New York housing law. This is what's so insane about the Wokies, about the left, right? The liberals, in their infinite wisdom, they do this crap all the time. They come up with these 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 ideas in their head that they're like, oh, we don't like when this person is, is being discriminated against, and we need to solve that, right? And hey, when people are unfairly being discriminated against, I'm all for solving that, right? Liberals, you're not the only people out there that don't want to see people being wronged. But the problem with the liberals is they come up with these ass-backwards ideas that actually make things worse for the people they're trying to help, right? In this scenario, right, you got the single mother. New York landlords now, we have New York landlords that, in my opinion, are going to be avoiding renting properties to single mothers. Why? Because if they can rent their properties to a girl and her boyfriend up front, they get the opportunity to run a criminal background check on both of them. They get to go into the landlord-tenant relationship with eyes wide open, okay? But now, with this law in New York, this asinine law, landlords are probably going to be avoiding the single mother, right? Because they know if the single mother comes in and she checks out clean, if she opts to move in Billy Suboxone, there's nothing you can do about it. You're almost forced to rent to felons, right? So landlords in New York, they're looking at this like, well, dude, I only am going to know half the story over here. And if the boyfriend is not applying up front, clearly he's a Billy Suboxone and that's going to be nothing but problems, nothing but holes in my walls, nothing but issues, right? So single mothers are going to be getting passed up, right? So Woke politicians are like, hey, we can't let landlords tell the tenants who can and can't live with them. Well, I mean, hey, I would never tell you who you can or can't live with in your own house. But if you're going to be living in my house, I got a problem with a junkie moving in, causing problems, causing harm, hurting my bottom line. That's what landlords are in this business for. All right, Wokies, landlords are not here uh, to run around and give hugs, kisses, sunshine and rainbows and hand out Care Bears. That's not what it's about, okay? It's actually about money. It's a job. It's like you, right? You might be a Wokey out there right now. Just so you know, we know that when you go into your local coffee shop and you fill up a large Vente uh, espresso macchiato and you hand it to Joe Blow customer, we know you're doing that for money, not just the love of, uh, you know, caffeinated beverages that are usually highly overpriced. But, you know, that's neither here nor there, right? We know you're doing that for money. Well, guess what, folks? Landlords are running their business for money and forcing landlords to allow people to live in their properties that they were not able to properly vet. That is going to be a non-negotiable for a ton of landlords and you know who's going to get hurt single mothers single mothers are who are going to be hurt by this right because landlords are going to see single mothers and know that anytime i get a single mother 
This is literally somebody I could only vet half the story, right? Thus making the single mother a higher level risk, a higher level risk tenant in New York than other tenants, right? So you're going to probably see people opting to go with a girlfriend, boyfriend who maybe even have lower credit, lower income than a single mother who may have better credit and better income because that landlord is so afraid of the fact that if she moves in some scumbag who's going to cost him time, money, effort, ruin his business, mess up his livelihood, there ain't nothing he could do about it because uh, New York's woke government, woke housing uh, authority decided to tie the landlord's hands, right? And the unfortunate byproduct of this, folks, it is your single mothers out there, people like that. They are going to be the ones paying for this insanity. If you're a landlord out there in New York, let me know your thoughts on my thoughts on this insanity. And if you're interested in investing in a state where you actually have rights as a landlord, again, you could book a call with my team below. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.